Hey guys, so apologies for there not being a vlog for a couple of weeks now, I think. Um, I have been so busy in the lead up to the launch of SLA's new Lux range, which is our new brand new dressy side of the brand, which is so exciting. Um, I can't believe I'm finally being able to actually like vlog the whole thing and talk about it so openly. Um, I have been putting so much work and effort into this during lockdown myself and the sla designers have just been working so hard um on this collection and we've had a few delays along the way things haven't worked out how we probably wanted them to it might be launching a little bit later than we'd like to but it, this just happens i feel like with business and everything just kind of you just got to roll with it honestly i know i feel like i've said that so many times but like if you stress yourself out i mean god you wouldn't be able to cope because things never go as planned but anyway that's all aside the exciting thing is we are actually doing the announcement um for the dressy collection this sunday which is when this vlog will be going up so um yeah we'll be teasing it all this week the actual collection is going to launch on the 4th of july um but we did basically last week we did this huge video campaign for it which i had basically this idea um for the video and i was like really i just had such a vision of what i wanted it to look like and luckily um joe obviously owns komodo which is a production marketing like brand campaign sort of company they do all different things so they were able to help me with it which is so nice to be able to work with joe on a project for sla um so yeah so komodo massively helped with the video um i'm honestly it, it's turned out so well so as i said the campaign video will be going live tonight so please please all head over to the sla instagram to watch it um it's basically like a little short film i wanted to do something completely different um and i'm so proud of it like really really proud of it so as i say please 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 all go over and have a little look at it um let me know what you think comment share it like i'm so so proud so i can't wait for you guys to watch it um i'm going off to the sla office today which is also very exciting because it's i haven't been there since the floor's been laid down the paneling's in i think we've got furniture there so i'm like feeling a little bit apprehensive because i'm like oh my god i hope it looks good um and we've also got the first ever shoot in the sla office today as well so we have our e-com shoot for the dressy range um so i'll be able to show you guys some behind the scenes and a little bit of like a preview of the collection but yeah i'm so excited and as i said we have been working on this for so long um i feel like i'm so ready for sla to be more than just loungewear now and i really hope that you guys love everything because i'm feeling like really nervous as it gets closer to it i'm like oh it's just like i don't know i, I just feel like because we've been so predominantly loungewear for so long i'm like oh my god is this gonna work i don't know um but i'm obsessed with everything so i'm hoping that you guys will be as well but anyway i'm so late so i need to shut up um i'm gonna take you guys obviously along with me we can go see the office see what it looks like um, um, but yeah it's a very exciting week i feel like i've been going i feel like a duracell bunny at the moment i feel like i'm just going doing everything and anything and all things at 100 miles an hour um i haven't actually stopped to even i don't even know my name at the moment um but it's all fun and games it's all great fun anyway i'm gonna shut up and we're gonna go so susie and i've decided that we feel like we're on that home makeover program where they tell you that you've literally got 10 minutes before the family arrive and you have to get everything done because we had so much to sort out up here and literally everyone's arriving for the shoot in like four minutes oh my god does it look amazing up here though i'm so excited this area in the background in particular look there is a glass screen hiding um i'm about to open down here the sofa of dreams but i thought i'd show you guys because we'll show you like this and then when we open it up, it's gonna look fantastic. So we have the insane Amira here today, looking unbelievable in the new collection. This pink blazer dress is one of my favorites. I'm obsessed with it. It's also looking very nice with the new pink sofa, which we haven't shown you yet, because it all sort of started and um, we didn't get a chance to show you, but it looks amazing. Look at this. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my god. <laughs> we 
haven't done the video, haven't we? We have. Cool. Amira, looking like an absolute dream in this color of the set. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this one. It also comes in pink, but this one's pretty special. Obsessed with this dress. It's proper chic, black tie vibes. She looks insane. So nice. Right, so I will give you guys a proper tour of the other end of the office once we're done with the shoot, but new steamer, all very exciting. This is the wonderful section that I've been having sleepless nights over, worrying whether it was gonna work, and it definitely have, has. Also, how insane is this sofa? I'm obsessed with it. I will link below where I got this one from. It's so nice, like the fabric is amazing, and I'm so pleased with how it looks in this section. Obviously the paneled walls are new and in, and they look great as well. I'm really glad that I went with three like big sections, because I think it's a nice amount of paneling, it's not like two in your face. And then obviously, as I said to you guys, obviously I know that we were doing two different floors to kind of create a room, and it has actually worked really well, which I was, as I said, losing sleep over it, thinking, oh my God, what was if this looked awful, but, it's really nice because it has created like its own little section down here. So we're gonna get like another sofa, basically do it up like a living room. So it's gonna have like coffee tables and big rugs and all that sort of stuff down here. Curtains will be going up. We've got some nice sheer curtains which will go up down there as well. So it's all coming together, but yeah, I'm really pleased with paneling and the sofa, it looks amazing. And then obviously we've got this section, which now actually looks like a studio and not just an empty space. Um, but I'll give you a full tour of this once the shoot is done with, but it's very exciting down this end. Look at it, it looks like an actual studio, it's great. I've gotten very excited by this pink sofa because it's actually movable. So this is where we're now having lunch in our little spot over here. We may not have anything else here guys, but we have got two amazing sofas and that to me is all we need. Right, so the sign has arrived. We've got the letters, they actually are black, but they've got an anti-scratch coating on them currently. And then obviously with the neon sign underneath, it looks like the logo. I can't wait to, um, I can't wait to put it on the wall and turn the sign on. That just looks, like, doesn't it literally, as mental how we've actually managed to create it to look exactly like the logo. I know, it does look slow. Yeah, I just can't believe we found a neon sign that was basically in the font of the label in the logo. It wasn't even like custom made, it was just like a font that was on the website. So that is literally going here, in, which I'll show you now, the, uh, the glass office room, which is this end. We've got this rather delightful screen that we've hired for the day because we don't have a model changing room at the moment. But, it's all going on out here. This is the lovely makeup table. What's happening? You guys look like you're up to no good. We're ready. What's happening? Oh, she, oh, she is We're ready. ready. She is definitely ready. Okay, right, I'll stop vlogging now and actually do some, <laughs> do some work. We're having a green moment over here. We've got the, there's nothing better than matching your drink to your dress. It's the vibe, really. Looks so fab. Right, you guys are getting first sneak peek at this one. So this actually launches a little bit later than the first drop, but it's actually my favorite thing in the whole collection. I did design it purely for myself, but I'm hoping that you guys would all love it. Mint green with matching cycling shorts and a bralette. It's an absolute dream, to be honest. These are the new SLA blazers. The blazer will also be coming in black. Um, they'll drop a little bit later. So keep an eye on the Instagram and we'll let you know when they go live. This set also comes in pink and it's a Barbie dream. <laughs> it looks insane. Oh my God, especially with that pink sofa in the background. It's like we're in a Barbie dream house. Mum's trying out a new hairdo. Something that you should, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's the one for you, if I'm being completely honest, but. Hair by Sarah. It's worth them. Um... <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> Got some old school rocker wig on. No, I don't think so. You guys know I love a Polaroid, but look how amazing they've all come out in the office space. I'm so excited. Like, it's been so nice to use this office and realise that it's just a dream to shoot in. And like, the glass screen makes it look like we're in some like bougie house. It's just a dream. I'm so, so happy and everything looks insane. Mum's very cute. She's um, celebrating. This is Susie's idea. Oh, Susie is very cute. Susie's idea and oh. it's your favourite cake. It is. Biscoff. <laughs> One of my favourite things in the whole entire world. Um, delightful. Well, let's all grab a glass let's then, shall we, guys? Glass. Here we go. The toast of the first, first shoot in the SLA office. Amira, where are you? <laughs> first shoot done. You were all, you were all fantastic. Thank you so much. Here's to many more. Love you all. Thank you guys. <laughs> so the shoot went so well yesterday. I'm so, so pleased with how the content turned out, how the collection looked. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy with it. I feel like 
it's been so long now that I've known about this. So I'm like, I'm so excited to actually share it because it's literally like we've been designing this collection since about December. But as I said, because we had like a couple of delays and like things weren't quite right and I really wanted everything to be perfect before it launches because it was such a big thing for SLA to do. Um, it has meant that there's been a severe pushback on the launch date, but it's happening, that's the main thing. So really hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of the shoot yesterday. Also the new SLA office, oh my god, I had some moments yesterday where I was just like, I can't actually believe that this is... SLA's office like it was probably the first time where I've stopped to sort of think um like wow this is this is exciting like this is crazy I can't believe that we've come this far that we have this amazing office space so um yeah I, I, it was a weird day yesterday I felt really proud of myself and I don't normally ever stop to reflect um but it was hard not to when yeah, I was standing in this office space that was sort of like the vision of even, literally ever since I was like a little girl you know it's like a dream to work in like a fashion space and then for it to be yours um is mental anyway um so I'll give you guys a bit more of a better tour when I'm there I'm going back there on Thursday so I'll um because I know things just got like so crazy and then I couldn't do proper tours and things like that but I knew I was going back on Thursday anyway so I'll do it then anyway so today Slightly random, but I was meant to be doing a very, very exciting shoot um, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday this week, but they've now postponed it. I say they because I'm not sure if I can say what it is yet. Um, I won't say just in case I'm not allowed to. Um, so it's not until early July now. But I was getting my, I was getting extensions put in for it, so I was getting like some serious inches. Um, I thought I was like, I wanted them in for the shoot, I figured I'll probably have them in for like a month and then I'll probably get them taken out because I don't know if I can deal with extensions having not had them for so long. Um, but it's fine, we'll have them in for like summer maybe, I'll keep them in for like my birthday. Um, and then I'll take them out because it's gonna be really weird having long hair again. I haven't, I honestly haven't had a full set of extensions in over a year. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to get like glammed up and get like some inches But I'm intrigued to see whether I'll be able to put up with them because you get so used to not having extensions in Um, and it obviously is so nice like wash your hair and brush it and things like that But I'm looking forward to feeling sassy should we say um, so yeah So I'm gonna go off and do that some, um, this afternoon, but first I'm gonna go and get another yummy lash lift I was so impressed with the last one it's been eight weeks now since I had that one. I'll see if I can get my lashes to focus. So as you can see, like there's still actually such a lift to my lashes. And I, before I had the lash lift, honestly, you wouldn't have even seen my lashes. They were so straight, so blonde. I've been using my Revita Lash religiously and I feel like my lashes have just gotten so much longer. Um, also been using a Revita brow and I feel like my brows have just grown so much. So yeah, anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do this morning. Um, but I recommend the treatment like to everyone and anyone it's such a good lash lift this also isn't sponsored i pay for it myself um but it's just amazing and yeah genuinely it's one of the best beauty treatments i think i've ever had done because it does exactly what it says it's going to do the lift was amazing it stays for so long um so yes yeah, so i'm excited to get a fresh one and then obviously take you guys along for extension day nelly's got a sausage dog friend at the hair salon they've fallen in love with each other haven't they now Look. Nelly's eight months. Oh, so yeah, same. Oh, they're the same. I just think they look really similar. Nelly, you want to go down? This one wants to hump you, doesn't he? He's just not sure. Apparently, he's just feeling a feeling a bit a bit vibey at the moment, aren't you? <laughs> Nelly didn't feel like having a gown on today, did you? No. She says I don't do gowns, guys. Um, right. So this is why Hadley is the absolute king of hair extensions because. One of my main things was I want inches, but I don't want chunky inches. And he is the king of wispy, amazing hair extensions. So we're currently doing some like crazy thinning technique, which is basically just the vibe for extensions. The vibe. The vibe. We were saying that we just want that sort of like Kardashian like wispy ends. That's basically the brief. Um, and yeah, this. What are they? What are those things you're using? Thinners. Thinners. So we're kind of cutting the length, but we're taking out some of the thickness as well. So it's going to be like a really soft blend down. Yeah, so it's going to look all nice and wispy at the end, which was, um, yeah, I'm very excited about. So I can't wait to show you guys the finished, finished look. Right, so we stood up because we are now doing some serious end thinning. But it's looking really vibey. Hadley's put loads of like layers into it. So you can see there, there's like loads of texture and 
we're just gonna keep thinning until we get that really nice, like wispy, wispy end, aren't we now? You're not very happy. You don't understand why you can't come up here. There's just weed on the floor in here. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> Literally, I can't take her anywhere. <laughs> so this side that Hadley's touching, we've done like the thinning out and like added like the sort of wispy ends. So you can see there's such a difference between like a block sort of side and then Hadley like literally makes it just look so fat. So it's all like wispy and just, oh, the dream. And then we just keep going back and looking at the other bits that we want to thin until we get the perfect wispy vibe. We get the Look at that colour blend though. That's real nice. God, it feels so weird to have like long hair. It's been so long. We're done. They're in. I've got some serious inches. How nice are those little like wispy ends though? Oh, the dream. I was saying, I was like, I feel like Kendall Jenner. I feel like she was my inspo for my hair today because I was watching the last episode of the Kardashians and she had the dreamiest like wispy hair extensions. And you've nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. I'm completely obsessed. Wait, let's put it in a pony. Look at the like effortless dreamy pony. Like, oh, so nice. Literally. Look at that. I feel like a mermaid. Go for, oh, yeah. She, I'm like filming my hair and Nelly's run off. But look, oh, I'm obsessed. So nice. I'm honestly obsessed with my new hair. I literally love how like wispy it is at the bottom. I feel like I've said that so much now in this vlog. But. I just feel like whenever I've had extensions before, um, I've always wanted like really thin sort of ends, but a lot of people that do extensions are too worried to like really thin them out because most people love like a super full look. But whereas I love that sort of, I mean, I call it like the Kardashian wispiness because I feel like they've all got that. And I just, I honestly think it looks so nice. So I'm so, so pleased and it will work perfectly for um, the shoot when I get to do it in a week's time, even though it was meant to be tomorrow, but that's fine. Also, my lash lift went really well. I actually got them, I tried something semi-different. I got them to do them like more out to the side rather than straight up, because last time I felt like they were so lifted that they were like literally touching my eyelid the whole time. But honestly, it's such a good, such a good treatment and it just makes your eyes just look so open um i just as i said 100 recommend it but yeah i feeling it's honestly really bizarre seeing myself with long hair because it's been so long like literally so long since i've had extensions in um but i feel like i mean this is why i go to hadley as well because his extensions as you guys know i've said so many times before are so small um so there's like so much less tension on the hair i've got bonds in by the way i don't think i said that um but I don't think I'll leave them in for too long. Unless I end up falling in love with extensions, honestly. But I think I'll do like, I might have them in for summer and then take them out. Because I just feel, and my hair is obviously in such good condition now. And I'm never going to bleach it ever again. Um, and I think that's probably why I've sort of thought, okay, now it's time I can have some extensions for summer. But I do still think I'm just like so anal about my hair and like what goes in it and all that sort of stuff. So, but yeah, as, as I said, Hadley does these like little tiny extensions which are just so much better for your hair. And he thins them out so much as you can see. So they're just like really lightweight and I don't feel like I've got like some like crazy thick extension in. Um, so they're a dream basically, I'm very happy. I've got this new diffuser in our bedroom, which I'm obsessed with. It smells unbelievable and it's a little lamp as well, which is so exciting. Um, I got it from Calm Aroma Diffuser. It's so nice as well. It looks like a little sort of glass ornament. I'm hoping it might help us sleep better because it's got, we've put in at the moment, this is the lavender sort of scent oil and it smells insane. Joe said we've got real zen vibes in here now, haven't we? Oh, where have you gone? <laughs> Is it smells so nice. More relaxed. Real calming. I just love the fact that it's also a lamp. It looks so cute. I've never seen one of these things before. Have you not? Not like this, but it's probably spouting smoke. I know, and I love that it's like a. It looks like a like a glass ornament. Do you want to turn the main lights on so I can show it in all its glory? Look how fun that looks. It looks so, so mystical. Yeah. So look, it's in like a little glass jar. Which I think is so nice. It's nicer than some of the ones that have got like more of a plasticky vibe. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see that if it helps us sort of relax before bed. It comes with loads of other um, scenty things, doesn't it? 
Scenty things Scenty is the things. technical term, in case you're wondering. What else? What other ones are in here? I can tell you, I think. What did we get? Frankincense. Yeah, what's that for? Focus. Yeah. Chuck that one on in the morning. <laughs> yeah. And then become balanced with geranium. Nice. So, and you can mix them all together, apparently. I really like the packaging that it came in as well. So yeah, diffuser life, guys. See if it helps us sleep. Yeah. Are you feeling zen? I'm feeling very zen. We have a visitor in the SLA office. It's amazing! It's Rebecca Spencer Photography. Um, as I said, I was coming back on Thursday. We've just shot some extra content of the dressy collection. It's incredible, guys. You're going to love it. So excited. It's going to be like your birthday dress. I know. Like the dress up. The, you know, We've got the you. Occasions. The one you're going to be excited to wear. Clothes to make memories <laughs> in, guys. Clothes to make memories in. Um, but before Becky and I leave, I'm just going to give you the little bit of the tour, which I didn't do. I know you guys have seen this area because I showed you that. Um, but I'll just take you down and show you the official office area because I want to show you the pink lockers that I got. Oh, and the neon signs up, which is very exciting. So this, of course, is the makeup area. This table I got from Etsy. There was this girl who was making them. I'll link them below. It was like £500, which I thought wasn't that bad considering the designer version of this is so expensive. Um, and I wasn't going to make one myself. I know I did see people making like tiled furniture during lockdown, but I thought, I'm not that good at DIY. This makeup chair, um, I just got from like one of these sort of personalized makeup chair sort of websites. The Hollywood Mirror is from Amazon. Then through here into the office space, which obviously has got the insane glass wall, which I'm just completely in love with. Um, I got these pink lockers for the office furniture. And we've got this popcorn underneath from the shoot. Need to clean that up. Um, these are from, well, they're mustard lockers. That's the brand. So I've got that little one and then also this bigger one, but they're great and they've got loads of storage in them. So I'm going to put like files and just things like that in there. So, yeah, so as you can see, that's the brand there, Mustard. And then this is the sign. Hang on for I show you. I'll turn it on. <gasps> Look at it. It looks so good. I'm so pleased. Yeah, it just looks so great in here. You know, it's not too big, not too small. It just fits perfectly and it's turned out exactly how I want. So I'm really, really pleased with it. I love this little end room here. It's just a nice little space. And of course the pink sofa, which you guys have seen. Also today I'm wearing the SLA Unitard, which I know I showed you guys in my Lisbon vlog, but it's actually going live on Sunday. So it's finally going up. This is the FE Unitard. If you guys are wondering why it wasn't on the website, it is, it will be when this vlog's live. So it's now available. It's Friday night. Joe and I've just got back from a date night. Joey didn't want to be on the vlog because he feels pissed. It's Friday. <gasps> be careful. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to knock over my coat. Um, anyway, on that note, so I'm going to end this vlog here because we are actually off to Ibiza tomorrow. Yep. It's a kind of a wild story because we've actually had this trip booked for five months. Five months. Yeah. to celebrate our friend's 30th birthday and we basically all decided that irrelevant of what the rules were we were going to go and then we were just going to quarantine when we came back because it was like we wanted to celebrate it and then literally yesterday Ibiza went green and we were just like you can't write this stuff it's wild so we're very excited we were just saying that neither of us feel like we've been this excited for a holiday in a long time because so Ibiza is my spiritual home I'm about to go wild. It's You're gonna about be... to go wild. I'm about to go wild. Anyway, so I'm going to end this vlog here because we've got to get up early for the airport. But I just wanted to say that I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and seeing the first ever look at the brand new SLA Lux range. Um, when this vlog is live, as I said, the campaign video, the launch of it, will be live on SLA's Instagram. And I'm very excited about this video. I'm also extremely nervous and I'm super proud of it. And I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So please, please, please all head over to the SLA Instagram and have a little look, like, comment, share. Just, yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm so proud of it. You're also very excited because Komodo have helped to produce it and direct it and create it. It's amazing. Um, and I'm just... It. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling quite apprehensive because we're two days away now because obviously it's Friday, but when this is live, it will be live. But I'm like, oh my God, I hope everyone loves it. So with that being said, I hope you love it. 
Um, let me know below what you guys are loving from the new collection from the sneak peeks. Obviously the new collection launches on the 4th of July, but we'll put loads of stuff on the Instagram over the next week of like previews of the collection and all that sort of stuff. But thank you all so much for watching and we will see you guys very soon. See you on Ibiza. Yeah, well we're not vlogging Ibiza, but I'll be on my Instagram story in Ibiza. I'm, I mean, it's a friend trip, so I'm leaving the vlogging camera at home, but Instagram stories is where it's going to be at, guys. Still. Still. So yeah, see Instagram story vlogs. <laughs> Bye, guys.